How to correct open wiring in walls. This photo shows how DIYers and others who think they are professionals do wiring in the kitchen. The microwave receptacle has been moved up about one foot. The wiring connections were made in the wall behind the installed microwave oven. I think that according to the person who moved the microwave receptacle junction box to a new place, the extension of the wires was, well, and, professionally, made, because for, safety, the wire nuts of the connected wires were covered with electrical insulation tape. This wiring poses a high risk of fire when any of the splices generate a spark or high heat due to loose and poor connection of the connected wires. When open splice wires are completely enclosed in wall insulation, the risk of fire increases. In addition, the common neutral wire and other neutral wires are not connected to each other by a wire nut, but depend on the receptacle connection terminals, screws, which creates an additional safety risk. Neutral wire to the receptacle and neutral wire back from the receptacle a closer look at the wiring connection behind the wall, discovered, when the microwave was removed. Three-wire NM, non-metallic, cable containing two 20-amp circuits with one, common, shared, neutral conductor. Two-wire NM cable to another electrical outlets. Four unenclosed wires to power the receptacle. Neutral wire, white, to the receptacle is spliced to the neutral, white, wire from the three-wire cable. The neutral wire, white, from the receptacle is spliced to the neutral wire, white, from the two-wire cable to other electrical outlets. The hot wire, black, from the three-wire cable is spliced to the hot wire, black, from the cable to other electrical outlets. The hot wire, red, from the three-wire cable is spliced to the hot wire, black, from the receptacle. The ground wires, bare, from both cables and the ground wire, bare, from the receptacle are spliced together. There is another way to make a wiring connection behind a wall where the risk of fire will be reduced to very minimal or completely eliminated even if it violates the NEC, National Electrical Code. If it is not possible to replace two NM cables with longer cables, they should be connected in a properly made junction box. Also, the four unenclosed wires feeding the receptacle must be replaced with a cable of the same size as the other cables. Turn off two circuit breakers or one double breaker, depending on the connection of the electrical circuits in the electrical panel. If necessary, mark the wires and disconnect all wires. Install a metal junction box that will accommodate all conductors from the cables according to NEC calculations. Install the ground screw. Unenclosed wires replace with cable. Install the appropriate cable connector and insert the cables into it. The cable jacket should extend beyond the cable connector at least one quarter inch. Wrap the ground wire, bare, around the ground screw and tighten the screw. Trim all wires to the desired length, no shorter than six inches. Strip the ends of the wires to approximately one half inch and use wire nuts to connect the junction box as follows. All ground wires, bare, together. Neutral wires, white, from all cables together. Hot wire, black, from three-wire cable to the hot wire, black, from two-wire cable to other electrical outlets. Hot wire, red, from three-wire cable to the hot wire, black, from two-wire cable to the receptacle. Insert all wires into the junction box and install the junction box cover. The junction box must be accessible, NEC requirement. 
Even if we do not provide access to the junction box as required by the NEC, it is certainly a better solution to hide a well-made metal junction box behind a finished wall than to leave open wires inside the insulated wall. In my opinion, well-connected cables in a metal junction box hidden behind the wall finish are no less safe than NM cables routed there, which can be easily damaged. The above opinion is for informational purposes only. In summary, all wiring must be NEC compliant and therefore all junction boxes must be accessible. Always follow national, state and local codes.